Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. I am Hunter, the one is there for Anna Polar Bear. And in the last part we did Vegetable Valley and now we're doing Ice Cream Island. Yes, indeed. Also get used to me doing that because that's my way of uh, syncing up the videos, I, I guess. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, so anyway, Ice Cream Island. This is where the game starts to get a bit more trickier, but not necessarily really, because it's still a Kirby game, so it has to be easy in some aspects. But, uh, let's just say I start to get stupider in this part, as you can see right here. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I tried to get Beam, or actually Parasol, um, and I ended up losing Freeze, which isn't a good thing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. Still no actual, like, puzzles in this world, but there is one thing that trips me up later on, and, well, of course I've edited it, because post-commentary, obviously, uh, but, yeah. So then, what is there to talk about here? Well, the music is nice, as are the visuals, considering the NES. Um... Don't let that crash fall. No! Okay, well, that's odd. Um, whoa! That Waddle Dee is moving faster than normal. And he got me hit. And I'm losing health like mad. What is this? What is this even? What is this? Oh, hey! Here's a power up that's never made an appearance in any other Kirby game other than this one. Excluding Nightmare Dreamland because remake. Um, Tornado! Which basically you spin around and you fly randomly wherever. I don't know how to control it. You just fly wherever. Also, apparently, you guys said that if I land on each of these platforms once throughout the playthrough, I'd get, like, 30 lives or something. Well, since all these... Since I recorded the entire game already, I didn't do that, but I'm going to try that later. Whenever I play this game again. Yes. Anyway, so now we gotta catch eggs, but not the bombs, because, you know, bombs, they explode and they hurt you. And depending on how many eggs you swallow, that's how many points you will get. If you get all of them, somehow, you'll get three one-ups. If you get nearly all of them, which I think is, like, a couple more than what I got here, then you'd get a one-up. So, yeah. Not my favorite of the little mini-games there, but... It's nice, nonetheless, I suppose. Excuse me. So yeah, I don't really find Tornado all that useful for anything. It's like Fireball, but a bit more uncontrollable. Also, you can't break blocks with it, so... Yeah, not really useful, in my opinion. Also, it's kind of scary, because you don't know when it's going to stop. And because of that, you don't know if you're going to be... Like, not impervious to damage anymore. So, not a very good thing. Anyway, now we're flying over to the desert. Because this is a desert themed world? I, I suppose. Yes. But we don't want that. We want sword, because it's the better power up. What did I just spit out? Was it, was it, um, oh, fuck it. Anyway, here we got Wheelie. He contains the wheel power up. Can you guess that by his name? Or by what he looks like? I'm guessing you can. I'm hoping you can. So yeah, wheel. In the other games, well, in Superstar... Whoa, no, I'm not gonna die there. That'd be embarrassing. Um, in Superstar, you're basically riding like a little go-kart thing. But in this game, you are literally the wheel. And I think they also did the wheel most literally when, um... You get that power up in um, Kirby Air Ride as well. Which is another game I should show off, because honestly, Kirby Air Ride is pretty fucking awesome. Even though nobody liked it. Critically, at the time. I still find some enjoyment out of it. So, yeah! Ah, gosh darn it. I was so close to the top two. Shameful. Oh, how shameful. And yes, I'm looking up to make sure his name is. Wait, what the fuck? No. Don't go there. What is that even? Um. Anyway. Oh, good. It's this. No, wait. It's not this level yet. It's another crane game thing. 
I should keep a mental note to cut these out from now on, but uh, you should see it. Because I f no wait, do I get no? He's hanging and then he falls, so it's really ah. I could have had him had I done better. So I'm just gonna get the pink one instead. Wait, they're all pink. I meant the small one. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Yes, his name is really okay. Just make it sure. Yay! Pretty great, in my opinion. Ah, now it's this level. Okay. Well, first I check here. And... Now it begins. Okay. This level gave me a bit of trouble. Not because there was a secret hidden thingy majigger in here. Well, I mean, there is, but there isn't. Um, but, well, okay, yeah, it is the secret thing that's in here that gives me trouble. Because, as you will see in a moment, once I get rid of this guy, the Sword Knight, there's an area over here that you need to hit the bomb up there in order to reach. You can't reach it with sword. Actually, I probably could have had it not destroyed that block now that I think about it, but, oh well, we all make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have thought of that. Yep, yep, I could have destroyed it. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> Because honestly, I spend a lot of the time in this video trying to get that thing. Well, not a lot of the time in the video because I cut a lot of it out. But when recording, I spent a lot of time trying to get it. And it all turns out pretty embarrassingly bad. Because I don't even end up getting the item that the room contains properly. So it's all just a waste of time. My time. But it's my fault. You see, that's, that's the thing. Oh, God. Don't let that mushroom thing hit you. That'd be very bad. That would be very bad. Oh, my God! Who is this mysterious creature that we met in the last part? I don't know, but he's gonna send his cronies at us. Yeah. Also, these guys take a couple more hits than the average enemy. They actually take, like, two hits or three hits each. So, my recommendation? Throw your copy ability out the window, which I'm gonna do in a second. Yep, there it is. And, uh, actually swallow them, because it's easier. And also, it doesn't just swallow them instantly. And they're just coming into my mouth. Like, literally. They're just walking into my mouth. See? And also, you can throw them at the other enemies and kills them almost instantly, too. Can't get that guy from down here. Let's try that again. Inhale! 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 So, yeah, there's like three or four different guys. There's one that slashes at you with an axe, one that throws his axe like a boomerang, one that swings his mace around, and the other one that throws sporks at you. I'm pretty sure they're sporks either. I they're just regular forks. I don't know why he throws forks either. They're supposed to be like, like spears type things with a trident shape. I don't know. So yeah, we ah darn it. Beep. So then. With that, we unlock level 4 and also the gallery. Or the museum. The gallery and museum are the same thing. So what's in here? We have fire and laser. Laser being a pretty good power-up. I wouldn't say great because it has only certain applicable uses. Like, it gets things with walls. Anyway, so now I'm going to try to get this bomb with the different power-ups you can, I can find. Fire doesn't work. Neither does laser because you need an angled like, slope or something in order to make any good use of it, as you will see in the next level, actually. So, laser is a no. Tornado! Well, like I said before, it doesn't destroy, destroy blocks, so that's different than a no. However, beam can destroy that bomb block over there. And now we have UFO, the most broken power-up in the game. I'm going to get it, and then completely waste it. Basically, you can fly wherever and whenever, and you have basically beam. However, you can't take it out of the level with you normally. You have to beat the level. So I'll go back and try to get it again. And I inhale beam instead. Oops. And guess what? It doesn't respawn until you redid the level. So you know what I say? I say fuck it. I spent too much time on that goddamn stage already and I'm going to the next one. Although I could easily go back there and do it again, but I'm just 
dumb. And also, fuck it. I was a bit agitated about having to do all that and not even get in it properly. And hey, this is a song that's used a lot too. I think it's used a couple times in the Dynablade campaign in Superstar, but I don't know. I th I think I remember it being from Dynablade specifically. Also, no wait, no wait. Is it a remix of the uh, the Cloud music? Okay, no wait. This song is also in the game too. It's the Crane game music. Well, a variation of it is the Crane game music. Sort of, ish. I think. Also, one of these days, I'll get to show off uh, roulette or whatever it is, which basically, if you inhale two enemies with the same copy ability, you get a randomized power up. You get a random power up, which I think happens later. So it's it's fine. Also, what was I doing back there? You ask her while I was looking for a how room. I, okay, it's not called how room. I, I think that I think that Return to Dreamland actually coined the term, or the fans coined the term from Return to Dreamland, but. Because whenever you find a secret room, and it has the Green Greens music and it has Hal in the room itself somewhere. That's why it's called a Hal room. Basically, it's like the, um, you know the moon in like the, oh, was it the fourth one or the third level of, uh, uh, the first game? Where if you, like, jumped into the moon, you would go into this room where you could, um, actually, I think in the later stages that room is also there, so... Yeah, it is in the later stage, that's right, because there's an entire callback to, uh, Dreamland 1 in there. And I would use that last, um, oh yeah, by the way, Mike is basically like Crash, except not as effective, because reasons. I think every time you use, uh, Mike, though, it gets a bit more powerful, meaning you'll be able to kill enemies faster. And, uh, yeah, in this game, it's actually, th you have three uses of it instead of just one. Oh wait, did you have three uses of it in, um, Dreamland 1? I, I can't remember. Either way, it wasn't, like, random animations each time. Because you get a mic, you get a megaphone, then a microphone, and then Kirby does this, like, rocker thing. Well, not a rocker thing in this game, he just, like, does the, he does the rocker thing. In Superstar, they actually give him a rocker mohawk and stuff. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty great. So, yeah. Laser, you can bounce them off walls because projectiles and stuff. It's pretty fun when we get into the later levels that have a lot of angled walls and slopes and stuff like that because it gets pretty hectic. So yeah, that. And now for a new minigame. Arena! In which you can get um, power-ups... Uh, Co co yeah. Copy abilities from some of the boss monsters, the mid-boss monsters. You also get a max and tomato. Such as Mr. Uh, Frosty here. Is that his name? It is Mr. Frosty, right? I completely forgot already. So let's get that, and then completely throw it away later. In about, like, uh, two seconds. Wait for it. There it goes. Because laser is better. At least that's what I think, anyway. It is Mr. Frosty, right? I, no, I'm, just, I'm just making sure. It's Mr. Frosty, right? Well, I can't check, um, because my internet is, like, dead. So, yeah, now we're in this stage. Indeed, it is Mr. Frosty. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah, this stage. There are trees abound! And bound trees! Also, you can run really fast and actually get pretty far if you just run jump with expertise timing. I don't know why I stopped there. I think it's because I got interrupted slightly or something. My phone went off or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember what happened last time. Or not, not last time, but when I recorded this, which was, I think, a couple Saturdays ago. No, get real. There we go. That's better. That's how you win at video games. Also, yeah, expect these parts to be kind of longish now. As you can tell, this is like 20 minutes already. And now we must show off sleep. Ow. Hey! Fuck you, laser guy. I'm showing off sleep. Greatest power-up ever? I believe so. 
Anyway, now we're gonna heal laser because, yeah, we can use the slopes to our advantage and I want to go down there, eventually. Also, you're supposed to actually use wheel there, but I'm dumb and didn't figure that out until like just now. So, I go back, yes? Yes, I do. I do go back to get wheel. Because it's important, you see, and I i think I know I don't die. Nope, I'm almost close to death, though. I got one hit left on me. If I get hit, I'm pretty much dead. Come on, we'll get in my mouth. Ah, here we go. This is what I was talking about. Hi, jump. You jump. Hi. That's what it does. And now I am... Nope, not dead yet. I keep thinking I'm going to die. And I get high... What? How did I get high jump? I didn't even have it. In my mouth. Well, there's wheel, anyway. So let's roll on for roll on forward. <laughs> Stop hitting ledges, you silly goose! Oh jeez! Oh man, if I died to the sleep enemy, that would be embarrassing. We now well, let's get what's in the secret room. A water bottle, which I get the feeling I waste almost immediately in the next level or something like that. Oh no, wait, probably here. Yep, I'm already losing it. No, and you don't get, um, the thing. The thing, yes, the thing. That's what it's called. You don't get, um, the randomizer if you inhale two enemies with different copy abilities. Or any two enemies with no copy abilities, because that's not how it works. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here. Also, Cutter. We throw, like, a little boomerang thing. And it's pretty great, but not great in this game, because in the later games it's pretty broken. And, uh, yes, we need high jump here. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Safe. High jump. High jump. Watch out for the cross bumps. Oh, God. Ooh, that was close. Let's get that water bottle. Also, I'm very disappointed right here. Because there's a moon there, and it's pretty apparent and existing there, but I can't get into it because it is not a HAL room. This makes me very sad. Very, very sad. Also, that Poppy Brothers has a maximum tomato, and I want it, but I didn't get it. So now I am sad. But don't worry. If you leave the screen and then re-enter it, like, something, go, go a little bit more forward. There we go. Enemies respawn. Nope, nope, no more forward. Enemies respawn, basically. Yeah. See? You respawned. There we go. That's what I want. I can't inhale it from here. There we go. I want that apple. I want that apple. I don't know why, but I want that apple. Get into my mouth, Bronto. Bronto Bert. Bronto Bert. What kind of name is Bronto Bert anyway? I don't know. I'm never gonna get back up to the top, am I? Well, I do, eventually. One of these days, I'll get up there. And hey, look, it's the boss. But first, this room. Warp Star Stations. Yes. You'll be able to go to previous worlds. This will be more useful once we get into the next level, so that way we can go from World 3 straight to World 1 without having to go all the way through this place. And I don't know why I'm going back here, honestly. Maybe because I wanted to fight him legitimately? Legitimately? Legitimately. Legitimately or something? Or maybe it's because I want to max some tomato for unknown reasons? Honestly, I don't know why. Maybe because I want to freeze for the boss. That's probably it. Though it isn't, because I immediately throw it away. In about two seconds. See? So I don't even know why I got that. I was feeling random that day. Alright? Jeez. Anyway, um, didn't mean to go in there. I meant to go into the boss room. Which is... This guy! Who is like... Ado and Adeline. Ado being from Kirby's Dreamland 3 and Adeline from Kirby 64. Yes. I don't know why they're called Ado and Adeline. Most people like to. Most people say that Ado and Adeline are the same person or different people. Even though Ado is basically a male version of Adeline. So. Yeah. Well, actually, no, it's not a male version. It's, um. It's a. It's a. Ada was also a female, but, uh, yes. Anyway, yeah, this guy. No idea either. Um, basically what he does is that he goes to one of these four paintings and, uh, paints something to use against you. 
Ooh, mysterious and also kind of odd. He sometimes even throws a Kirby at you. Like an actual Kirby. Like a whole Kirby. I'll get the name of this guy right, eventually. Anyway, next level, let's play Kirby's Dreamline. We're going to be going into the next level world thing, which is Butter Building. So until then, see you later, and goodbye.